If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey everyone, T1 Glistenroff here. I'm once again going to be running some vintage blazing infect. This is my little brew. It's the same as it's always been, for the most part, but it's the same one for this league. Good old Blighted Agent, Progenitus, Blightsteel Colossus, uh, Ink Moth Nexus, those are my creatures. I can play Blighted Agent or Ink Moth into, let's see, Blazing Shoal, for those that don't know, for those that haven't seen the deck yet, Blazing Shoal, you can pause if you need to read these cards, pitch either Progenitus or there's a One of Blasphemous Act in the deck, so that's cool. Uh, other than that, we have, uh, of course, if we're running Blightsteel, we're going to be running Tinker, and there you are. We also have Show and Tell to get Blightsteel or Progenitus. If we have them stuck in our hand, we can use them for something. And that's pretty much the gist of the deck. Uh, as for Karn Shops, this is what my opponent, Alpho, is running. It's, uh, I'm going to quickly go through here. Ballista, uh, Re Revoker, I can live with that. Lodestone Golem, uh, Karn and Karn. Good old, you know, artifact shenanigans. Uh, f let's see, so seven four mana planeswalkers, uh, which you can't use Mishra's Workshop on. I'm not actually as worried about that as I probably should be. That particular style of deck hasn't usually been that big of a deal for me. It hasn't so far this league. This ensnaring bridge might be a might be a problem, but at least my creatures start at one power, so maybe we can get by. Maybe we can get through that. As for what the opponent could side in against me, um, dismember, and that's about it. So once we go to sideboards, I'll be in slightly better shape, I would think. Here. Alright, so I'm not AFK. I'm not AFK, I promise, I swear. I'll let my opponent know. Was recording the intro. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Double Ballista is a pain. Uh, that's probably going to put us on either the Tinker or the Show and Tell plan. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, by the way. Snoop Dogg doing his thing. Okay, that's a thing. We'll draw a card. Take a screenshot just in case it gets hidden again. And, uh,. Let's see. Play the Lotus, as you do. Play our handy little fetch land here. Um, we're going to save the Lotus because we are going to play a game of show and tell in just a bit. And that'll be fun. And then I'll pass the turn. Alright, thank you. <sighs> Keep revealed. Good, good, good. Yeah, Alpha seemed excited to, uh, to be on YouTube. Shout out to Snoop. So Sidemaster Thopterist is actually a card in Vintage. Uh, it's a replacement for Monastery Mentor, I suppose. Given that, I'm a little bit surprised that we didn't see... Oh, okay. Ancient Tomb. Sphere. Um, we're going to Alert Response. Pay one. Now, there is a Wasteland there, but I'm not too worried about that. Gonna find a card. I'll be worried. Oh my god. What is going on? So I'm, as far as I'm aware, I'm forced to use Chrome for this. And maybe it's my computer, maybe it's not Chrome. But, dear god. It, it, I don't experience that issue. Or, or maybe it's just untap itself. Itchy nose. Alright, cool. So, I'm assuming this is resolving. That seems like a pretty reasonable way of, uh, of seeing it. So we're going to find a card, and we're going to put it on top of our deck. And I already said, we're going to uh, bring this to class. So... How do we do this? I'm going to put it in a face-down pile, over there. I'm going to shuffle the deck. And then, put this card on top of the deck, and that should do it. 
Okay. Now you're good. Now you're good. Now that you, uh, can't do anything. Can't even play the Walking Ballista because now it costs three mana. But you could do a one mana Walking Ballista. I, I don't strongly recommend it. Gee, I wonder what that was. Pop. What did you bring to class? Let's try this again. Face down pile. And uh, I guess that's what we're doing. Is my screen just really dim or? Oh, oh, they're just putting it straight into play. Okay. Well, there's mine. It's progenitus. <laughs> Rar. All right, and uh, past turn, I guess. <laughs> I guess I uh, I have lost from this position, but I don't. Not, not like this, when I'm seeing Ballista in hand, and two unknown cards... Uh... You know... You know... Actually, I'm going to turn the brightness up. I, I always keep my computer, my phone, keep the screen at the lowest brightness, unless I absolutely have to to see. And it's... Decently bright. Okay, so uh, what just happened has shaken. Oh, 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 I see. The, the wasteland was fired off. Okay. I missed that. It's just a notch. Because I'd like to be able to see when I'm 30. How old do you think I am, folks? <laughs> YouTube, how old do you think I am? Alright, so Ballista on. What was that? 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, or five, six, seven, three? Okay, blist on three. Cool. I guess I'll play it. Swing. Rar. Uh, yeah. And then pass the, pass the turn. Pass it right on. How is the opponent able to win here? So three damage puts me to 12. Three from the blista puts me to nine. Ballista on three, that puts me at six. Um, that's if they don't have another land drop. But I'm, I'm not seeing a way for this deck to win from here. Because they can't touch Progenitus. Okay, if they found Karn right now, I still don't... I mean, yeah, even if they found Karn here, I don't think that they can win. This is a this is a deck I like to see. I would rather see this style of shops than I would see traditional shops, Ravager shops. I I would rather play against Karn shops. Game two. Woo! All right. Two and Glistener off one, so that way it gives my opponent the ability to go first. Let's go do our sideboarding. Um. Well, okay, so let's get the obvious ones. Damping Sphere on the play is much better than on the draw, so we don't necessarily need that. Um, Echoing Truth is weird. Um, let, let's Okay, so Energy Flux, we're getting the obvious ones out of the way first. Energy Flux, and then Quad Recall. Null Rod, and those are the, the ones that are definitely coming in. As for what's coming out, we are now in a spot Look at this, folks. Uh, mental Misstep... I mean, uh, not that low. Mental Misstep can actually be a card against a few of these. We're looking at... Uh, skip a bit. So, Mana Vault is one of them. Soul Ring, but more importantly, Voltaic Key. Because this is the deck that there's a key in the sideboard and a Time Vault in the sideboard for a reason. When Karn comes down, Karn the Great Creator can get Voltaic Key or Time Vault. More likely Time Vault, because you're more likely to have... I mean. Obviously, you only get one time vault the whole thing. So if I can misstep a key, I might be able to keep them from taking infinite turns. Um, 
So, Fatal Push is weird. It's not usually good. It it kills everything in the deck, all the creatures in the deck, and it gives my it gives me a way to deal with Ballista preemptively. In other words, I can push Ballista and then play a Blighted Agent. So I'm not inclined to take it out. And this is weirdly enough a matchup where if I were to have Spell Pierce in, Spell Pierce could even be okay. There's a there's a lot going on here. There's not a lot I would like to take out. Um, but but. If I had to say, despite what I just said, Mental Misstep might go, uh, Gitaxian Probe is probably not terribly good because I don't need to react to my opponent. I don't necessarily need to know what they have going on. Um, yeah, we're... I think it's, okay, so I'm going to take out... Ooh, man. I just know that I'm going to do this incorrectly. I know that someone out in YouTube land is going to have another way of doing it, and I will be wrong, and that will be fair. Uh, but, so here's here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to actually take out the Fatal Push, I believe. Two Mental Missteps, two Force... No, no. Oh, Jay, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Three force of wills. And I'll keep in the fatal push, which is weird. Admittedly, that's a really weird card to keep in in the matchup. You know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. I can take out fatal push, keep in force of will, because if I have to deal with walking ballista, then I can do it the way that I just did there. I can either tinker or I can use show and tell. Um, it's probably more important for me to have fatal push in this or uh, force of will in this matchup, whereas in Ravager shops it's more important to have the fatal push. All right, I'm gonna try it. Well, that could have been the one that would would have been fatal push. Uh, let's see. So, we have... Oh! Uh, ha, ha. Okay, so this is a lot of mana. A metric crap ton of mana. But we don't actually have anything to use it on. Um, hmm. This is tricky, folks. This is tricky. It shouldn't be tricky. This should be an easy no. Because I don't have a creature. And I don't have cantrips. I don't have a backup wing. I mean, I have a creature, but Progenitus isn't really a creature. It's not an Ink Moth or a Blighted Agent. I'm just hoping to naturally draw in. But, since I'm on the draw, and I get a few more chances at it, it might be better to keep... Oh. Oh. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm, I'm still considering keeping. Why am I still considering keeping this hand? This should not be a thing I even contemplate. This is not a real... This is not a real hand, Jay. You're on the draw. You get a chance at it. Um... I really shouldn't. I shouldn't, but I am so tempted by this Force of Will blue card. Because if I counter Force of Will, I mean, if I counter with Force of Will, I might just be fine. We're going to keep it. I might just be fine. Of course, even if I do Force, I'm pitching Progenitus. All right, let's see if it pays off. All right, well, what could possibly go wrong? Everything. Inventor's Fair, I like it. Sapphire, okay. Gonna say no response. You gotta be quick on these no responses, I think. Thorn. Thorn is good, I have a lot of mana to work with. But it does mean that... Okay, no, no, we're done. Okay, we're fine. Consultation. Okay, that paid off. 
in a weird way that paid off. Um, we're actually not going to play the Black Lotus here. We are, however, going to crack. We're intentionally going to get underground, see? Try to force a waste here. If, if they waste, we have another fetch land, so we're fine. Um, and I don't think that I need a lot of mana going forward. Maybe I do, in which case that's not correct. So if I play the Black Lotus here, I will have to crack the Black Lotus in order to force a will anything. But, again, since I have so much mana to work with, that might actually be, even be okay. It's not ideal, but I don't really have anything else to spend that mana on. Anything else on which to spend that mana. I can, I can even crack it for black. Oh crap, I forgot about that. That'll matter. Thank you. Not B. Thank you, Snoop. Savior to us all. Zero fox given. There's a waste. Oh, but we're not doing that. What are we doing here? What's a three mana... Is it a sphere? Oh, it's a monolith. That's fine. That's fine. That's just a means to an end. No response. That's just a means to an end. In fact, if I can catch my opponent slipping up here... Oh, okay. Nope, we're good. UT. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're thinking of doing stuff. I believe it's correct to go my turn, use the Underground Sea on upkeep. Please no mass bounce. Yeah, so there is a Hercules Recall as a... four of now. Oh my goodness, why did my screen just die? Yeah, Hercules Recall is a four of. That would be fun. Um, I can also Energy Flux here. Energy Flux would be slow. I don't know if it's actually fine. Is Energy Flux fine here? So Energy Flux is going to hit my own Mox Emerald. No, 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 no. Energy Flux is only one of. I can't, con I can't consult for it. We should probably just go for the kill, right? Am I, am I seeing that correctly? We just go for the kill, don't we? Demonic Consultation. All right. And I actually, I probably should have done that af on uh, after I drew my card. Because if I draw a Blighted Agent here, well, it, it doesn't matter now. Blighted Agent. Watch, watch it be the first one. Uh, oh, here we go. One. Okay, it's time walk. Two. Three. Hey! Oh, there went no rod! That's fine, I guess. That's fine. Okay. Ripperino. Alright, now we just do it one at a time. Ooh, okay. There's show and tell as well. Let's keep it revealed. Draw. Well, it, it didn't actually matter because that would have been a time walk. That that would have been a time walk instead. So it's fine. It just feel it felt that way. In my soul, it felt that way. I don't even know what that means. But it works out because Blighted Agent's a blue card. I can force pitch Blighted Agent and not have to worry about pitching Progenitus here. I'm gonna fetch again. And this time I'm definitely getting an Underground Sea. 
That way I'll have, well, you know what? They already have a wasteland, so if they draw a, another wasteland, they could just waste me twice. You know what? Actually, with this thorn, I'm not going to be able to play Force of Will anyway. No, 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 it's fine, because I'll just have to use Black Lotus. So, I get an island so that I can definitely have Force of Will. Is that correct? I'll be missing out on black mana, but I don't think that's going to matter for this game. Where did Island go? Is Island in my exile? Island's in exile. Well, that worked out. Never mind. Ignore that. Ignore all of that. Just, 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 wow. Uh oh, don't you do it. Don't you do that one. You do this one, Jay. You do this one and you will like it. Alright. Still blue floating, but that's not going to matter. We're going to pass the turn. We should... This should be a kill. This should be a kill. Gain one life? Yep. Three or more artifacts. One, two, three. What's it going to be? I have Forcible Blue card, Blazing Shell Progenitus. Sometimes this deck is just broken. Sometimes it feels broken, and I still probably should not have kept that hand, if I'm being honest. I thought it was better than going to six. I liked having Forcible Blue card. Um, it, it, I could still have been wrong doing that. Just keeping it real. Uh, no you don't. No you don't. <laughs> No, you don't! Oh, no, you don't! You get that out of here! <laughs> you get that out of here! In before Walking Ballista number two. In before Walking Ballista numero dos. You tried, Alpho. Now, if you have the second one, I'm done. I'm done, skis. Because the show and tell is gone, too. Um, I guess I could find another land. Oh my god, is this it? I could find another land tinker. My heart. <sighs> There's the other one. Familiar faces. I'm not dead yet. You lose 100% of the games where you concede. All right. Well, let's let's see what we can do about that. There's a land. to tilt our opponent here. <laughs> Alright, fire away. Probably should have waited till after combat, I would think. I would think. Then we'll pass the turn. So if my opponent wastes one of my lands, uh, I will need Ink Moth Nexus or a Moxen in order to even be able to tinker. So we're significantly more likely. Let's see, how many? We're down one, two Blighted Agents. Do we have any Ink Moths down? None. Okay, so we're still live. We can still do it. Uh, yeah, no response. No response. Oh man, double ballista. Double ballista. Jeez. The game I played right before this. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Black Lotus, Sapphire Wasteland. Okay, we got there. We did get there. No response. I, I played three creatures out in the first three turns, and they all got... This was an opponent who multi five with only seven spot removal spells in, in their deck, and they all got taken out one by one. Scred, Bolt, Fire. Minus two. Cool. What are we getting? As if I don't know. As if I don't know. Now, this will take a little bit of time to untap. This is one, two, three. Uh, even if, so, uh, Mycosynth Lattice is seven mana now. Thinking, yeah, you take your time. We're going to look through two. Tormod's Crypt? Mm. Okay, so Worm Coil Engine's a creature, so it's not subject to the, the Thorn Tax. Batter Skull is going to be the same cost as Worm Coil, so probably not. You could go for Time Vault and just hope to get there. Sorcerer's Spyglass is interesting. Uh, key, but more likely Vault, since you get Key if you don't have Vault yet. Um, oh, we're getting Key already, okay. But wait, 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 wait. The other one's still in the sideboard. Why not get the Vault first? That seems weird. Like, because you could just draw into key. You could just Inventor's Fair into key, for that matter. I'm saying Inventor's Fair like it's a verb. You could tutor with Inventor's Fair. Oh my goodness. I, I dislike when I do that. I dislike when other people do that. Last turn. What you got? What you got? We are pretty close to dead. Pretty close to dead. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, Karn's gonna mine us again. Get, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a two mana key. Of course. As you do. Oh, that's a reason, that's a reason why I should have played the, uh, the Mox Jet, because Wasteland here is going to get rid of one of my lands. Oh well, it's fine. And then I won't be able to tinker next turn, because of Thorn. So that's the reason why you do that. Uh, we're going to say, no response. That's probably what we're waiting on. It is Vintage, and I'm a blue deck, so that is reasonable. Minus Karn. Oh no, you, you, wait a minute they may not be able to waste here, because if they waste and they don't have a land, they aren't going to be able to play the Time Vault on the next turn. My, okay, going down to one on Karn. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is interesting. And by the way, if they don't find another land next turn, even if they don't pop the Wasteland, so there's, there's Time Vault. Time Vault's going to cost three, and they'll need one more land in order to be able to uh, untap immediately, because this costs one mana. It's Voltaic Key, it's... Ah, uh, there's Mox Opal. Okay, well, never mind. We have one more turn. Okay. I don't think there's anything that can save us here. If I draw an Energy Flux right here, right now. Monolith? Time Vault. Do it. Do it. If I draw an Energy Flux right here, right now, I think the opponent still wins. Um, it's going to put an upkeep cost of two, and they have one, two... No, actually, that would, that would eventually get us out. Oh, you know what? I can't tap this for mana anyway. Karn. Karn is a thing. Mmm. Okay, so never mind. It's fine. Leaving this in hand is fine. It might as well threaten something. Okay. Comes in tapped. Alright, let's see what we have. Too little too late, bud. Too little too late. Ah, uh, one turn earlier.
Alright. They got there. Alpha got there. Snoop Dogg got there. Actually, it didn't matter anyway. Well, they tapped Wasteland, so... But they wouldn't have tapped Wasteland. Yeah, you get the idea. You know where it's going. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to type yep. I can type no res I can hit no response. Even better. No response. I am going to make my opponent play it out. I, I guess that's maybe a little discourteous, but I actually really do like the deck, and I'd like to see it go off. Usually when this happens, people will just concede. And, uh... Oh my goodness, I can't capitalize. Float colorless. Good. Dead. It's still the technically correct thing to do. You know what? I could let my opponent play it out just for coffee. I guess that's a thing. Um, but I, I really do think it's cool to let the opponent... Uh, I guess they could kill my emerald. I mean, it already can't tap... It's a, It always felt a little weird, to be honest. It already can't tap the, uh, I can't tap the emerald, so killing it's kind of weird, but there are instances where that does matter, like Chalice, for instance. Chalice is always going to be CMC zero. Gonna, gonna get something to drink. Okay, now I'm being a little bit selfish. I am going to get something to drink, at least to get the coffee started. Um, I'll be... I'm gonna wait till my opponent does something again, and then I'll hit no response. Hello. I'll hit no response. Here we go. Okay, so the opponents eventually just, now that they have all the things, all of the things, swing one. Yeah, that's a creature. That's a creature, all right. Good just went off of soul ring beats, I guess. Why not thorn of amethyst beats? <laughs> Why not just thorn beats? Thorn, Thorn doesn't have an untapped clause. So I don't have coffee, it's being made. Hmm, okay. Next turn, take all of the turns. <laughs> Just gonna reveal that really quickly. Ooh, double key, so now they can use that on the time vault and they can animate, say, or they could just untap Grim Monolith. Swing with Grim Monolith. Keck. Yeah, shoutouts to LOL, shoutouts to Keck. I, I haven't ever seriously played World of Warcraft before. Probably, unfortunately. Um, but that's a, that's a reference to that old game. Old. Yeah, it's old. It's old. It's not like NES old, but it's, it's old. This, this soul ring is going to kill you. I'll pack it in, pack in it, pack it in, then game three. Alright, and Alpha got that one. So now that I'm on the play, Damping Sphere actually can do something. 
Stamping Sphere on the play is a little bit better. It hits Ancient Tomb, it hits Mishra's Workshop. My goodness. Itchy Nose is itchy. Um, it's not particularly great though, if I'm being honest. It's not particularly great. Is it worth taking out another Force of Will? I mean, Walking Ballista is a pain. Walking Ballista is a royal pain, for sure. Is so there not something else? I'm on the play. Gitexium Probe informs the decision about Walking Ballista. It also just draws me into a faster kill. Can, anyway. Where's Energy Flux when you need it? Where's Detutor into Energy Flux? Okay. Um... Let's try it. There's Damping Sphere, so if ever there's a time to find out, now is the time. Uh, we have one piece of a combo. We have Show and Tell. If this had been Progenitus instead, we'd be really living. We have a cantrip, so we definitely keep. Keep. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's get it on. One. Two. Three. Fetch. Now, uh, I don't have anything that needs black mana, but I might need something with black mana later. Bird in the hand is worth more than two in the bush, so I think I take the island here. That way I can definitely play blue cards, which might, it might cut me off of black cards though, which would be my tutors, to be fair. To be fair, preordain. Let's see what this gives me. And because I'm playing against shops, we are good to just move ahead. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Put both of these on the bottom. Draw a card. Why, deck? Why are you doing this to me? damping sphere. And putting the space here is actually intentional. Uh, it can make my opponent think I have another land to fill in this little gap. Alright, so damping sphere is fine. <laughs> it makes Mishra's Workshop and Ancient Tomb not as effective, and it makes it where we can't just see turn one mock spam. So that's probably fine. <laughs> this is a thing. Damping sphere is a thing. We could still see, like, mocks tap the mocks for mocks. We could still see something like that. Um, and obviously land, land as well. So like, say, wasteland, mocks, tap mocks for mocks, tap two of them for something else that costs zero. Okay, so there's a mox. That should be the only thing they play. Unless, well, do you have a land? Please, do you have a land? Tell me you just know. You wouldn't keep a land, a hand that was just mox pearl. There's something else going on. There's Mishra's Workshop, the one mana. <laughs> Mishra's Broken Workshop. Actually waiting until they... Alright, see what they have going on. Okay, good. They, they remembered, so we're, we're just going to put that in. This is still a decent turn. So this is two for a Mox Opal. That's, that's still pretty decent, honestly. Not gonna lie, that's something. And actually this Damping Sphere, so... Oh, okay, so they still can't t use the, the mana from uh, Workshop or anything other than Artifacts. It doesn't change those characteristics. All right, let's untap and draw. That's not 
what I wanted to see. We did actually have another land, as it turns out. Scooch this over. And pass the turn. Makes one mana only for artifacts. Terrible. Standard. Playable. Uh-oh. Okay. Walking Blip. Thorn. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so two mana. <laughs> For a Black Lotus that cost one more plus one more. Yeah, no response. Please just have means and no ends. There's no way that's going to actually happen. Two mana for a lotus. Fair and balanced. <laughs> this D-sphere is putting in work. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to fetch here for deck thinning. Um, if I find a ponder or a brainstorm, I'm going to regret this, but I would rather... It's more likely I'll find a business spell. So... We're just going to fetch here, get out an underground sea. It's also pretty clear that the opponent, if they had a wasteland, think that they might have used it. Okay, Hercules Recall. We could set our opponent back quite a bit. That would be funny. That would be funny. Um, indeed, I think that I intend to do that right now. Uh, because if I let my opponent untap with that much mana, we could legitimately see like some Karn shenanigans or something. So, I'm going to do this. And target... Hello? Target you. Target you, Snoop. Player Avatar Alpha 3. I cry. I cry every time. <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, and then we're just going to pass. We still need to actually find a business spell. That's a, that's a hilarious little way to stall, but that's not enough. That's really not enough. Um, also, they didn't actually tap the Ancient Tomb last turn, did they? I don't think they did. There it went, let's see... Yep, never tap, okay. They would still lose two life, you see, so that does matter. Lose two. Lose two life. Hey, we got there. <laughs> Hilariously bad cube cards now. These are for people who want to make bad cubes. That's just, that's it, they're just bad cubes. I've tried that before. I didn't actually find enough cards to make it work. Is good. Oh, I see, I see. They're asking if that resolves. Uh, that resolves. Thorn resolves. Yeah, I, I have more than enough mana. Uh, plus, my particular combo is very mana unintensive. I need zero mana on the turn that I go off, so I don't care. <sighs> Pass to me. Alright, come on. Anything. Let's try a preordain. Oh crap, I need to pay an extra mana. Got there. I got there. It took me a second, but I got there. Sorry about that. There's a thorn. Look at the top two cards. Oh, jeez! Misclick. <sighs> Shuffle, then do it again. Bottom one of those at random. Okay, uh, we can we can do that. I think. How do I bottom? 
Uh, okay. Let's look at the top three again. Now, um... Uh, shuffle, I don't think is fair, because it's like looking at five cards, I don't know. I guess you're right. Let the camera show that it wasn't intentional. I have an ornery touchpad. Can you pick random from those? Uh, let's see how. I, I, I'm trying to figure out how. Uh, not like this. Oh, you know what? You know what? Here's an idea. Here's an idea. I got this. I got this. Okay. Face down pile. Okay. Now. Uh, can I pick randomly from these? Good idea. Alright. No. Let's see. How do I randomly do this one? Select random. Okay, this one. Do cause trouble clicking. Alright, so it's that one. And now, how do I... It's chosen unknown at random. So I guess I put it back in the deck right? And then look at these two. I think is what I'm supposed to do. And I don't know if my opponent can see that. Okay. Okay. Um. So... If I had been paying a mo- it's probably a good thing I didn't pay attention to what the other card was, because that would be extra information. Uh, uh, okay, but since I'm an idiot, I, or honest, naive, whatever, okay. um, I have a Null Rod and a Progenitus. Just, just from what I see here, both of those are good. No rod or progenitus. Oh, yeah, no, 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 progenitus. No, that's fine. Progenitus is, is definitely it. Um, because, oh no, I can't show and tell here. I actually can't even cast the null rod here because of damping sphere and thorn of amethyst. So I can't cast either of these this turn. Um, okay. So next turn, I think my opponent is probably going on the. Alright, so they're, they're gonna play the mox, they're gonna play the lotus. Or, or, let's see, they have four mana, three mana for something like Karn. So they'd need to have another land to play a Karn this turn. Um, so, Null Rod is kind of a gotcha. Well, it's, it doesn't matter, actually, because I'm going to get both of these in just a second anyway. I'm going to keep them as they are, I think. I think that's right. Yeah, I'm going to keep them as they are. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'll, I'll put it on top just to see if I can throw something, throw my opponent off a bit. Draw a card. Okay. And then I will have to pass the turn. And next turn we can either go for Null Rod or we can go for Progenitus. And I, I if I go for Null Rod, I'm going to be hurting myself too, because I have... Oh! Jay, Jay. Oh. He probably should have shoved the Null Rod because of that, because I can't show and tell and Null Rod. I get one or the other. Maybe it's fine, because I'll show and tell, and then on the following turn, I'll Null Rod. Oh my goodness, Jay. You're you're messing up. Okay, so th there's another land. Uh... Mm, why, Lisa, why? You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay, so one mana Black Lotus. Fair and balanced magic card. We're still actually gonna get we're gonna net mana off of that. Sort of. Oh. Oh no. Four. It's an artifact. Five. Uh oh.
I hope that's a land on top of my deck. It doesn't matter, because this is a Null Rod coming down. Uh... Sure. Jeez. J. Yeah, we, we actually can't show and tell here. We actually can't. We're one mana shy. Okay. Okay. We're getting there, unfortunately. Not in the direction I would like, but we're getting there. Ooh. All right. One, two, three. Okay, so this isn't Lotus. Two, one, zero. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what just happened. One. Alpha, what you got? Let's see how much space I have left on my card. Uh, enough. Enough. Okay, there's Black Lotus. Um, one more? Sphere and Thorn. There we go. We got there. We got there. Yeah, it, it's weird. Sometimes you get a feeling like Thorn shouldn't apply to it because you're so used to it not applying to the creatures in Ravager Shops. But, you know, fair enough. Okay. Uh, please, that. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Be a land. I need you. I need you. So badly. And if it's an Ink Moth Nexus on top of the deck, then we're really going to have some fun. Okay, what's this? What's this? I don't like this. There's a shop. Oh, it's a Phyrexian Revoker. Oh, no. Uh, this is just getting worse and worse and worse. Because that's going to name... Oh, you know what? It's 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 fine-ish, but if they name Pearl or Ruby, now neither of us can use it. All right. Um. Good. Set it over here. It's an ink moth. It is. Of course it is. I haven't seen a wasteland yet, but this is a problem. Kind of. Okay, so I think it's... No, no, wait a minute. So, one to activate Ink Moth. Ink Moth swings. Sphere. Thorn. Lethal. Right? And I don't have to worry about Damping Sphere because it'll only be one spell for the turn. So I think we're good? Question mark? Um... Yeah, that Null Rod keep feels so bad now. Because this would have been an Ink Moth last turn. Uh, live and learn, I guess. So three cards. What do we have? See Walking Ballista here. Oh, Damping Sphere, you have put in work, but watch you not be enough. Unfortunately, watch you not be enough. One... Two, one, two. I'm, I'm assuming some number of Karns were sighted out. Certainly Scion of Urza, because the creatures don't block anything in my deck. Uh, the, it's just too slow for the matchup, I would think. Uh, I'm not sure. Three. I, 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 see, I counted one, two, three, and then the opening to Girl's Last Tour. Oh, and the Lotus, okay. Uh, crap. 
Okay. Scratch what I just said. We need another land. Because Karn... This just keeps getting better and better, folks. Uh, what are you going to go and get? Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, if we draw a Blighted Agent, we can play Blighted Agent using one, two, three, uh, because Thorn will not apply to it, just the sphere. Man. Alright. Man. Thinking. Take your time. I am going to grab my coffee. I can use it. Oh, still taking the time. Still taking all of the time. Yeah, behind the scenes, T1 Glistener Elf, I'm in my pajamas. With the pajama pants. So why not? Minus two. I got that. I figured that. So, things that save us here. It's a little slow, but Blighted Agent could save us. Um, I'm assuming the opponent's going on the, I'm going to get Time Vault, I'm going to get... Why would you do this? <laughs> Why? Okay. Okay, okay. Got there. Last turn. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. One more turn. 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 Hype! Even if the opponent kills the blighted agent here with, say, a dismember or a walking ballista, if I get another land, I still actually end up making it lethal. Oh my goodness. Why is my heart pounding? Look, it's not because I'm having gratuitous amounts of caffeine. Okay. Yeah, if you're gonna play that spyglass, I'm assuming you're going... I'm just assuming you're going to tap the, uh, the pearl for that. That makes sense. It doesn't actually matter anyway, because Sorcerer's Spyglass... I mean, my artifacts are already off. What else are they... Oh, wait a minute. Choose any card name. Yeah, okay, so Ink Moth Nexus. That's it. Ink Moth Nexus. That's right. That's right. J. J. So the Blighted Agent is really fortunate here, as it turns out. Um, although, had it been a land instead of a Blighted Agent, that's still lethal. Uh, but given that it's not a land, Blighted Agent's the next best thing. For this reason, we're seeing right here. Um, Jeez. If I could just find, even if I didn't find, just, ugh, just, ugh. There's, there's, a, there's so many ways. We're so close to winning. We're so close. Yeah, so the spyglass might look a little awkward now. Maybe. All right, so we got three mana ballista. Well, yeah, X is still one. 
do it. Just end my misery. For the love of God, just end my misery. If it's a ballista, though... Oh, hi. Okay, so they can't cast the Sorcerer's Spyglass here. They actually can't. Because Damping Sphere is taxing them too much. Uh, wait a minute. Have to tap sh tomb, not shops. All right, we caught that. We we got there. We caught that. Okay. Still thinking. It's all good. It happens. It happens. Um. Yeah, it's dead. All right, we're still not dead, still not dead. We just have to find either a land or another blighted agent. All right, plus one. That's dead. Omae wa shindeiru. Swing two, take two. Omae wa. Land. Even Dismember won't kill here. They only have the one up. <sighs> At you? One, two. Sphere and Thorn. Is that GG? Do you feel me, guys? Do you feel me? Is that it? Is it over? Piccolo, is it over? <laughs> All right, take your time. Yeah, so Blazing Shoal costs no mana, but I had to spend two on Thorn and Sphere. Yes! 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 Yes, yes! Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh no! Oh no! I could... I didn't see that Karn staying in. How did you sideboard? Oh, was dead if I had gone for Spyglass too. Yeah, I top decked like a boss at the end. That's just Phyrexian luck. That's what I'm going with. I had no business winning that one. I had no business. Only two dismembers. Oh, um, game two was, let's see, I did 3x, Recall, Energy Flux, and what else? There's one more I, I brought in, I believe. No Rod, of course. No Rod. Game three, also Damping Sphere. Which was a workhorse. That was a beastly damping sphere. It's so good on the play. GG's. Let me know whenever you like to throw down a casual game. Sphere killed me for sure. Yeah, no doubt. That would have been a super fast card. No doubt. I sided it out for Fatal Push 
so <laughs> great decision. Lol. <laughs> I say lols, but I'm actually laughing. Oh, that's right. You're in Italy. You're a uh... Italy, right? You're you're tired, dude. Now I kind of feel. Oh man, you're like six hours ahead of me. Okay, shoutouts to Snoop Dogg over here. Shoutouts to Alfo, Portugal. Portugal, not Italy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna call you Snoop. Way late. Chillax, you earned, you earned your rest. Rest. There we go. <sighs> Speaking of earned your rest, oh, I am still, I'm still feeling that. Alright, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. This is, this feeling of exhilaration is why we play, right? This right here, this game. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>